Okay, we are back. We want to get rid of this, some of the stuff. We don't need any more. We need the clamps. I put this up in a uh, vise, suspended like that, and um, use some 15-minute epoxy on it. So a nice, good bond. A little seepage. Um, we got. Looks like we got this. I was mainly trying to get this lined up here, and then it turns out uh, got the sides. We got a weird little thing there, but I think that's just. I think that's supposed to be like that. It's actually this uh, rivet scenes kind of going above that, which is okay. Might have a little filling to do, which is not too terrible. I thought this was a miss uh, in there, and that is uh, goes to the wing, but it still doesn't look very complete. So I'm gonna have to do some kind of uh, screen stuff on that. Still not looking forward to doing that corner there. That is a big chunk. Of wing gun. I don't know if I can uh, leave it off and make it look like a. Eh, it won't look right no matter what I do to it. And then I gotta clean this part up here. So I'm trying to get the cockpit to fit in. And this is broken, so I gotta glue this. There's a bubble. It was a casting bubble that made it weak. I thought it might have been. You know, there's bubbles, a lot of bubbles in this thing. So that's gonna be a lot of repair work on that. But we'll slowly get it together. You see I gotta clean that up right there. We have the trusty file out. Let's see here. Nice flat file. I thought it snapped into it, but no, it's just like, I think it sits in the more, if I get that little tab down, this will set better. Yeah, we still got to take that up a little bit more. Hopefully I'm doing all that on camera. And that'll eventually sit in there nicely, and I can see all kinds of little bubbles. This is not a nightmare, but uh, not fun either. So uh, we'll be back and uh, show you the progress. Thanks. Okay, I'm back. I'm trying to get this uh, cockpit cleaned up, and it is not that easy, but I got out the Dremel. You can see this little bit I got on there? It all cleaned up a little bit, and a lot of resin on it. And I'm just going through it. I have a foot pedal, so I can... Don't have to worry about using that switch. And I can just go in this, and I, that one big ch chunk I got out, I believe, I can't even find it now. And I know it's a, there's a broken piece there where the bubble was too. So you can find little areas. So I'm going to go with a file afterwards and uh, straighten them out. But this will get all the material off. That's where I super glued some already. We already have these two parts were broken. And those are super glued and we'll have to use the cleanup on that. Maybe like little areas in the airframe here. So I'm gonna keep working at this and uh, get it hopefully done soon. And then I got a lot of little bubbles to fill with some liquid green stuff. And I gotta find my liquid green stuff somewhere. Uh, as usual, thank you for joining me. We'll be back. Hey, right, YouTube, we're back. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got my uh, sculpting tools out here. These are like little dental tools I bought years ago. Got my trusty yeah, Vaseline. I got some liquid green stuff for later. I'm uh, molding up some green stuff right now for. Uh, this wing I got to make it look like that side I'm still on camera here hopefully get this all nice and mixed up this is an old old strip of the old GW green stuff I know it's uh, uh, overpriced but I bought it a long time ago and slowly I obviously don't do a lot of sculpting but it's coming together quite nicely and 
too. I got it mixed. And I'm going to get a piece. Let's see. Let's get some pieces going here. Looks like a, this wing here has got to be repaired. And let's get some tools going. Got my Vaseline. A little rag. So let's get this wing fixed here first. Let's see. I know the working time is not all that wonderful with this stuff. And I can... Spread it out. And see how we got this part coming into the rivets. Cut that out. And keep my tools nice and moist with the Vaseline. Maybe take my hobby knife and get that nice and Okay, we are back. Um, I'm going to work on this, the and then I'll come back when I start the other um, part. The I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to sand it down, and but we got it fitting perfectly, and I kind of like uh, gave it its own little groove. And then on the back where this hose joins in, just a little bit of green stuff, to because it, it had a big gap. And I think this enough looks like they cut into the, um, the rivet line there, and like a little weld, so it looks a little more finished. We're going to have to do the same thing with the engines when we get to that. And then um, this side, we get that thing done so um, it's not going to be a big gap. So that'll uh, have a nice seam. If you can see that right there, that's going to fill that little hole that was sticking out. And I think so far, so good we're on that. So. Uh, We'll leave it at that for right now, and I'm going to let this cure over the evening, and then come back and sand it. I see some spots right, right here. I need to do a little smoothing. What the hell is that? I got some kind of garbage. I got to clean this area up. And my green stuff's picking up a bunch of crap, and it's getting into it. I'm just going to smooth it real quick and make sure I'm not bending the wing too much. Just kind of blend this into the, the resin. Try to dry fit it again. Actually, that moved it a little bit. Make sure I got my, I got a little bit of Vaseline on my hands too. It's kind of kind of helps it from um, not picking up my fingerprints. Yeah, we'll shape it later with a file. We got plenty of um, material left over on it to fix it up a little bit. Let me get this little area in the back here still. Finish it up a little bit better. There. Nice. Yeah, some areas of green stuff where we don't want it. 
and uh, we'll be back. We'll see you in a few.